Welcome to your favorite program, The Power Circuit, from the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. This program keeps you informed about the operations of TCN and the role it plays in managing the national electricity grid. Today's episode promises to be informative as this special package brings you highlights of the power sector as the year 2021 ends. You can't afford not to stick with the power circuits in this enriched edition. I am Amara Agugoisi. When this year began, stakeholders in the power sector had various expectations towards improving the supply of electricity. The then Minister of Power, Engineer Saleh Maman, specifically said Nigerians were to expect improvement in electricity supply. On the part of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, the management led by the Acting Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of TCN, Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, was fully prepared coming into the fresh year to ensure system collapses decreases while all-time peak electricity rises. Towards the quest for improving indices of electricity supply, a report from the Independent System Operations ISO at TCN noted increased multiple all-time peaks in the early parts of the year. The report also said the all-time peak recorded between 2020 and the first quarter of 2021 was far much more than has been recorded in the past 10 years. The breakdown shows that on January 6, the national power grid recorded 5,552 megawatts all-time peak. This rose to 5,593.40 megawatts on February 25. On February 28, the national grid recorded the third all-time peak energy of 5,615.40 megawatts, and by March 1, the fourth peak of 5,801.60 megawatts was recorded. Commenting, TCN Hensman Engineer Abdulaziz said, the commitment of TCN has reduced transmission grid disturbances to the barest minimum as grid capacity has also increased. He said TCN has installed several transformers, rehabilitated several substations, and upgraded power transmission lines with several projects ongoing. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, in the first half of the year installed 300 MVA power transformers in a Keja West substation in Lagos, 40 MVA power transformer in Yaori, KB State, 60 MVA units in Kubwa, Abuja, 150 MVA and 30 MVA power transformers in Kanu and commissioned a reactor in Apir, Benue State. These were all towards revolutionizing the power transmission capacity of TCN. TCN also set in motion the plan to build a second national control center in Abuja to complement the existing center in Oshobo in Oshun State. The management of TCN led by the acting managing director and chief executive officer Engineer Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz was at the proposed site for the construction of a second national control center, NCC, in Gwagwalada town in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. In pursuit of its transmission enhancement and expansion drive, the company completed the expansion of the 132 kV Breeding KB to Sokoto transmission line with 415 towers. TCN also enhanced works on the 330 kV Uguaji to Makodi transmission line and the 132-33 kV Uguaji transmission substation in Enugu State. It also successfully completed the construction of a new transmission tower in Aja area of Lagos and strong and old and a new 330 kV line on the Egbin to Aja transmission line route. The company also in the first half deepened its proactive equipment and facility maintenance culture as exemplified in various states. Its engineers executed routine maintenance of the 132 kV underground power transmission line in the IBB Gulf Coast area in Maitama District in Abuja. The system maintenance exercise was also executed at the 132 kV Cairo transmission substation in Abuja. A routine maintenance exercise at the 132-33 kV Suleja transmission substation in Niger State 
where they inspected the operational condition of a 60 MVA power transformer, the switchyard and the control room. As the first half came to a close, TCM raised concerns about the encroachment of power transmission lines right of way across the states. There were reported cases in Enugu, Onitsha, Benue, Abuja, Lagos, Oshun, among other states. In terms of collaborations, the management of TCM built on its virtue as its officials met with Ebony State Governor Dr. David Umahi. Officials of TCM in the Benin Transmission Region visited the Edo State Governor Dr. Godwin Obaseki. Governor of Borno State Professor Babagana Umara Zulum visited the TCN management where parties had discussions on power projects. The collaborations were also held for power sector core players as TCN hosted the 43rd biannual hydro planning meeting in Oshobo, the Oshun State Capital. This was followed by a joint generation operation and distribution companies planning meeting hosted by the TCN National Control Center section in Abuja. The management of TCM further demonstrated its commitment to staff welfare in the first half of the year by having routine meetings with the labor unions including the leadership of the senior staff of electricity and allied companies SIAG and the National Union of Electricity Employees NUI to strengthen ties that would later continue in the second half of the year. The management also boosted its industrial relations capacity by redesignating more staff from other departments to the industrial relations departments. The service level agreement SLA continued to be an integral part of the company as it continued more sensitization to ensure that it sustains its efficiency in bulk power transmission operations. The SLA was initiated by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission NEC to enable market participants in the Nigerian electricity market to improve on their services. The SLA sensitization also held for general managers of the transmission service provider and the system operations arms of the company, as well as the regional transmission managers and all general managers in the transmission service provider unit of TCN at the TCN headquarters in Abuja. It was to the shares of the power sector players that the management of TCN announced that it had expanded the transmission regions from 9 to 10. The latest addition was the Kano transmission region which was upgraded from a sub-region previously under the Kaduna transmission region in June 2021. The company then upgraded the Casina Work Center to a sub-region, marking critical priorities for bulk power delivery action plans. The review continues, don't go away. Did you know that our high-tension transmission cables were built to withstand high temperatures except artificially induced ones such as fire? Did you know that burning bush or refuse dumps by TCN transmission tower base or along the transmission lines right of way is an offense? Did you know that the fire can cause high-tension transmission lines to snap and fall to the ground, electrocuting living things within the line radius? Did you know that extreme fire can cause the legs of transmission towers to buckle and that buckling of the mainframe of a tower would lead to its collapse? And they even pull down other towers along that transmission line's route, causing untold damage to the line. Now that you know, yes, now that you know, TCN is calling on all citizens of Nigeria to please desist from destroying our collective national investments. Be careful, do not set fire on trash or burn bush beside transmission towers or under electricity lines nationwide. Help us preserve the transmission grid and save the nation from blackout. TCN, transmitting electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. Starting the second half of the year in good faith at TCN, the Acting Managing Director and CEO of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, was conferred with an Honorary Doctorate of Science degree in Engineering and Project Management by the European American University. Well, this UNO probably was extended to us about 11 years ago, so we've been be privileged to be doing what we're doing now. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very pleased to welcome you all to the Transmission Company of Nigeria and most gratefully for this award, which I dedicated to the management and staff of TCN. Engineer Abdulaziz, also in an exclusive interview with the past circuit, 
touched on some milestones of the TCN in the power sector. You're welcome to the power circuit. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. So we need to discuss your achievements so far. What we did first of all is to make sure that we procure spare parts. Those spare parts are very essential to TCN because without spare parts, when you have a fault, you cannot do anything. So when you have spare part, you save time. In the field of projects, uh, from the donor agencies, from the World Bank, we have a loan, and we make sure that all those projects were procured, awarded, some are almost to completion. Under African Development Bank, we have secured a loan of 210 million USD. We have made all the requirements, and we have got all the approvals. We have procured consultants that are going to look after this project. We have uh, advertised tender. We did the evaluation, and now we have sent to the bank, and we are waiting for non-objection from the bank. So this is also a great achievement. On the side of AFD, which is in charge of the Abuja scheme, we have progressed a lot at sites. A lot has been done, and very soon, those projects are going to be concluded. And by the time they are concluded, the light in Abuja will improve a lot. The company, with the support from the World Bank, boosted the skills of 708 electrical engineers and linesmen. The trainees were taken from the electrical, maintenance departments, protection, control, and metering departments, and linesmen across the 10 regions of the company for the two-week training as part of the Nigeria Electricity Transmission Project, NETAB, being executed in TCN. Work is key, but planning is critical. Upon this, the company held a management retreat at the Ibom Icon Hotel and Golf Resort Uyo in Akwaibom State, with the theme, Managing Change in a Renewed Organization. The acting MD CEO, engineer Dr. Sule A. Abdulaziz, at the retreat, tax the management staff of TCN on developing more synergy towards sustaining the company's milestone and moving to a higher level of efficiency. To drive a positive operational environment, the management of TCN in the course of the year presented revised staff conditions of service and career progression path document to the staff at the headquarters to boost their commitment and service delivery. The workshop was to be later taken to the regions of TCN to ensure all staff are carried along. Members of staff of TCN were treated to a workshop where they were sensitized on the gains of a contributory pension scheme and how they can maintain improved health condition towards ensuring that employees get the best of their retirement plans. The learning curve is a non-stop process. Cognizant of this, the Power Transmission Company held a workshop on environmental awareness to stimulate its officials and boost their productivity. The workshop, which had the theme towards a sustainable teamwork and collaboration for successful project delivery, had various facilitators projecting the best practice in environmental awareness. As the year drew to a close, the management of TCN organized a performance review workshop for the regional transmission managers of the 10 regional transmission offices of TCN in Abuja to compare notes and plan for the coming year. TCN also engaged its public affairs officials from the across 10 regions of TCN on a week-long capacity building workshop in Abuja. It was also to prime the spokespersons to sustain effective communication beyond this year. In its zeal to improve the quality of bulk power delivery, the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, sustained the rollout of brand new projects in the year 2021. Here are some of them. One of such was the commissioning of a brand new 75MX powered reactor at the 330 kV appeal transmission substation in Benue State. The 75MX 330kV part reactor is a third of such equipment the company had commissioned with one in Ikotikwene in Aquaribum State and the second in Jos Plateau State. 
At the 12233 kilovolt Unsuka transmission substation in Enugu State, TCN also installed a 30 MVA power transformer to double the substation's capacity. TCN also added a brand new 100 MVA power transformer at 132 kilovolt Port Harcourt main transmission substation and also commissioned the Port Harcourt Regional Office Building. The 330-132 kV Ajokuta power transmission substation was given a facelift as TCN rehabilitated the circuit breakers. Towards its expansion drive, the company created the Kano region, making it the 10th transmission region under TCN. It also upgraded the Katsina Work Center to a sub-region to improve power transmission activities there. At the central area Abuja substation, TCN repaired and energized the second 132 kV underground transmission line, which runs from 330-132 kV Katampe substation. The underground cable line 1 and line 2 power lines supplied bulk electricity to the TCN's gas insulated substation. In its efforts at sustaining qualitative delivery, of bulk electricity around the Apo area in Abuja and its environs. TCN rejuvenated a 60 MVA power transformer at the 132-33 kV Apo transmission substation. Just recently, the in-house engineers of TCN installed a new feeder and cycle breakers at 132-33 kV Suleja substation in Niger State. They also repositioned an existing 30 MVA power transformer in the substation to maximize its bulk power delivery capacity. While TCN delivered major projects during the year, it has various other projects that are being completed and will be in operation in the coming year. It has accelerated work on the 132-33 kV Walalambe power transmission substation in Kanu and is speedily delivering a new gas insulated substation, GIS, in Abuja. Similarly, the TCN head, Engineer Abdulaziz, inspected the new 330-132 kV Brinin Zakara power transmission substation in Kano, where he taxed the contractor on its speedy completion. As the third quarter of the year began, the power sector got a new Minister of Power in the person of Engineer Abu Bakar Liu. He immediately picked up his role and ran with it. Upon assumption of duty, the Minister of Power, Engineer Abu Bakar Aliu, taxed ministry officials, heads of agencies on intensified efforts to improve the power sector. Shortly after the minister assumed office, the acting MD CEO of TCN, Engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, led the management team on a courtesy visit to the minister and briefed him on the activities of the company. The Minister of Power Engineer Abubakar D. Aliu was also represented by the TCN boss at a town hall meeting in Meduguri, the Borno state capital, where they held key discussions on the vandalism of power and telecommunication assets. Just in November, the Minister of Power Engineer Abubakar D. Aliu organized his inaugural top management meeting with active participation from the heads of the agencies and power starters under the Federal Ministry of Power. The minister tasked the management officials on deepening their synergy towards delivering more results in the power sector. Talking about collaborations, the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, recorded a series of cooperative interactions with its external audiences in the second half of the year. One of such collaborations was with the management of TCN and a team from the Agency Francais de Development, AFD, when the new country director, Mr. Xavier Maron, visited the company. The management of TCN fostered a collaborative move with the Ashaka Cement in Gombe State. At the meeting held at the powerhouse in Abuja, both parties explored avenues of improving bulk power supply to the cement plants. Promoting the TCN collaborations was a clean bill of health issued by members of the House of Representatives Committee on Power, led by the committee chairman, Honorable Magaji Dao Aliu, during an oversight visit to the TCN corporate headquarters in Abuja. On behalf of the committee, I wish to commend you and your management team, despite <coughs> the 5 billion they give you, instead of 500 billion, 
we are able to to, to survive <coughs> for this long. I wish to thank the the MD and for having us to leave. The honest is on us to get more money for them. TCN further hosted officials from the Ghanaian Power Agency, the Volta River Authority, who were at the TCN headquarters in Abuja to share experiences on power operations. Top officials of the Energy Commission of Nigeria also visited TCN to boost energy as they toured the Katampe Power Transmission Substation in Abuja to study its operations. The acting managing director and chief executive officer of TCN, engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, is also the chairman executive board of the West African Power Pool, WAP. Since his assumption of office in the year 2020, engineer Abdulaziz has continued to lead the regional power association on a sound energy security pathway. Here are the highlights of the various engagements of WAP in the year under review. In the first half of the year 2021, Engineer Abdulaziz chaired the 15th WAP session of the General Assembly in Lomi, the capital of the Republic of Togo. The session had various sections including the 35th WAP Donor Coordination and Technical Meeting as well as a General Assembly session. The WAP chairman further said the pool was committed towards ensuring there is a boost in the regional energy integration. WAP also held its 49th meeting of the executive board of the West African Power Pool WAP in Cotonou in Benin Republic. The WAP chairman led members of the WAP executive board to inspect ongoing construction works for the WAP Information and Coordination Center ICC in Cotonou. TCN hosted a week-long workshop of the West African Power Pool WAP on the North Core Interconnection Project in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. The workshop had a series of meetings to revalidate the implementation actions for the construction of about 875 kilometers of 330 kV power transmission line that will connect Nigeria to Burkina Faso through Niger, Benin, and Togo. WAP also held its 51st board meeting in Cotonou in Benin Republic, and it was chaired by the chairman of the executive board, engineer Dr. Sule Abdulaziz. The meeting organized by the WAP Secretariat had the members focusing on integrating power systems into a unified regional electricity markets. Engineer Abdulaziz intimated the board that the financial statements had been duly audited and certified by the external auditors. The chairman and executive board of the West African Power Pool, WAP, and acting managing director CEO of the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Dr. Sule A. Abdulaziz chaired the 52nd WAP Executive Board meeting held as part of the 16th session of the WAP General Assembly in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. He briefed the members on key WAP projects including the North Cup project, a transmission line project that will link Nigeria to Niger, Burkina Faso and Benin Republic being targeted for completion by 2023. You have seen and heard of the journey so far this year at the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. As we look forward to seeing you in the coming year, the company seeks your support towards sustaining the delivery of its power transmission mandate. Let's all commit to keeping our eyes on safeguarding power infrastructure against vandals and encroachers. We have made this episode and all others accessible for you on the TCN YouTube channel. The company has these other platforms to take feedback on its operations from you, our esteemed viewer. Remember, the COVID-19 pandemic still lurks. While we wish you a happy year end, ensure you protect yourself and all yours by getting vaccinated and keeping the prevention protocols. I am Amara Agogoisi. Thanks for sticking with us on this program all year round. See you next year.